Good afternoon, everyone. And it's such a, um, a honor to welcome, right? This is a precious guest artist, okay? Dr. Libby Larson today with us first. Thank you and a big, big applaud, okay? So let's, uh, let's uh, introduce ourselves, the faculty member first. So I'm a voice teacher, Moonsu Park. I'm a hosting today, uh, Dr. Libby Larson. Okay, I toast to Dr. Kim. Um, hello, I'm Dr. Hyun Kim and I'm um, director of the opera here and I'm a vocal coach. Thank you. And uh, Professor Beckett, or Becky. Hi everyone, I'm Helen Bikki. I'm working in the voice department as a uh, vocal coach and I teach the lyric diction classes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Professor Lauren Claire, the center voice teacher, yes. Okay. Would you please introduce yourself just briefly? Yes. Oh, we don't hear you. Yes. Can you hear me now? Very soft. Very soft. Oh, now, 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 now it's good. Now it's good. Okay. 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 Um, my name is Lorraine Claire. I'm an instructor of voice here at the University of Arkansas, and um, I work with students of the classical nature and then also of the jazz nature. And I'm really excited to be here. And um, yes, looking Good. forward to hearing everyone. Yeah. Is any any faculty that I miss? Okay. So then let's start. So again, thank you. Thank you, big thank you to uh, Dr. Larson today. And uh, we are so excited having uh, this performer masterclass with you. And so I'm definitely, I'm very, very um, sure it will be such a meaningful learning opportunity and also incredible moment for our, this uh, young artist, <laughs> young, young, younger artist, everyone. All right. So um, I will share today's program for everyone. Just give me a second. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the today's program. Before I ask uh, Dr. Larson to introduce herself more, I would go this and then read for you all right so dr libby larson as you know so well she's one of america's most performed living composers she has created a catalog of over 500 works spanning virtually every genre from intimate vocal and chamber music to massive orchestra works and over 15 operas Wow, Grammy Award winning and widely recorded, including over 50 CDs of her work. She is constantly sought after for commissions and premieres by major artists, ensembles and orchestras around the world and has established a permanent place for her works in the concert repertory. And this is what I really love. Music exists in an infinity of sound. I think of all music as existing in the substance of the air itself. It is the composer's task to order and make sense of sound in time and space to communicate something about being alive through music. Libby Larson. Here we go again. <laughs> Thank you so much. And would you please, Dr. Larson, would you please uh, introduce yourself a little more? Yeah, I'd love to. First, first of all, I thank you all so much for being here for, for this master class. It's just um, a thrill uh, uh, to be in, in this virtual room with, with everyone. And it's lovely that we can all see each other's faces. Uh, uh, it's a strange time uh, to, to be alive. And I just am so grateful every day. I don't know how you feel, but I'm so grateful that somehow music found me and I get to journey through life uh, through in music. 
Um, just a little bit before we get started, um, because this is a, a master class in, in art song, mm -hmm. um, um, I, I do compose in, uh, in, in, in all the classical genres uh, that, that are available. Um, uh, but uh, art song uh, is where I, ha I have always turned uh, uh, to uh, 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 really since since I could write music, which was a long time ago when I was in grade school. There's something about the um, consideration of word uh, uh, in combination um, with, with the voice and the pianist and the soul um, that um, uh, that is uh, uh, I don't uh, maybe sacred is too too no it's that's a good word actually that um, that that that's quite sacred uh, and um, uh, uh, and 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 I and I've always found a great deal of peace of mind um, when I am um, uh, in collaboration with a poet a poem um, a voice in a voice. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, and and a possible moment that we could create together in this um, in in this world. Uh, um, so I, um, I I really love art song. Uh, well, that's that's a mundane thing. I am passionate about art song, uh, uh, and um, a chance to work like this together uh, is is a great gift. Um, I've written a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of art song. Only a very small portion of it uh, is is um, out in out in public. Um, during this particular uh, last year, I've uh, I've maybe written twenty five songs. Uh, 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 I just that's where I go. Uh, anyway, so it's um, it's a it's an extraordinary pleasure I think to, you, you know to spend these moments together, uh, wor working working with these great poets. No, um, working with each other uh, and um, and uh, communicating in the in the ways that we can um, as musicians. So I, that's probably enough. Uh, it, um, I have a huge website. You can go there if you want to or or not. You know, um, uh, so um, I think we should spend the time on, on making music. Don't, is that okay with everybody? Sure. Okay. Sure. I may give you a sign. Um, so feel free to work with each of singers around it's approximately 15 minutes. Sure. At the end, after this uh, four singers done, we will have a uh, F &A, no, Q &A, F &A, Q a session. <laughs> and we will have a really a lot legend a lot. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so hold on. Make it this yes. So I may just introduce today the first one, Glor by Gloria Devereaux, uh, from uh, this Try Me Good King, uh, Anne Boleyn, and then second singer Juan Garcia, in baritone is I Love the Blue, the Daytime, from Love Songs of the New Kingdom, and then the third singer Lisa Kolzak, mezzo soprano, The Empty Song, from Love Affair, 1950. That the last singer, Dennis Atkins, uh, booking a bronco from a uh, cowboy songs. All right. Okay. So I will done with the share screen. And then now I will share the another one. Okay. <laughs> that is all the, all right. The, okay. You still see the share screen? No, right? Yeah. You see, still share? Yes, we do. Yep. Oh, okay. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Twenty-seven uh, people. Thank you. That's beautiful. Then uh, let's just close. Yep. And if you have any any questions, please. Uh, wait until the last moment and then yeah that's why please don't share don't write anything chat window yet okay so oh 
Give me a second. Back. What I'm doing now, I try to share the score with you, all of you. Then you'll know what's going on. Okay, hold on. Yes. Gloria, are you ready? Dr. Park? Yes. yes. I have a suggestion. Um, we yes. would love to see the singer as well as we would love to see Dr. Larson on the screen. Okay. And is there any way you can just put the screen on the chat room? Then students oh, can see the, the music oh. and the um, yeah. screen at the same time, maybe. It's better? Okay, I tried that. Thank you for letting me that. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome and I thank you. Okay, so my challenge is going on. <laughs> okay, there's a chat and where is the music? All right, I prepared well, but Okay, meanwhile, I would like to uh, a little bit uh, talk to everyone about my story with Dr. Larson. Um, right. First time when I met her, it was like 2006 or seven when I was a still student in Colorado. She came to uh, the school that where I was studying and she gave a master class not only for the composition students and also collaborative pianists and the singers. So she gave us some couple of different set of the master class and then lectures. It was so inspiring. And I could not really, um, you know, away from that, you know, feeling for a you know, long time. And then later on, when I was in Aspen Music Festival, I, I, I could meet her again. <laughs> and it was a very, um, another, you know, very excitement. And uh, when our she festival committee members, we just uh, sort of talk about who's going to be the um, more the, the leading woman composer that who can give us uh, some wonderful, you know, experience. So she was the one that I really came up in my mind and all the committee members were so happy to have her. So I believe, strongly believe she's going to give us a wonderful time today and I'm so happy to everyone is here. Um, yes. Just thank you up. for sharing your story. Thank you so much. So Good. in the time, all the music. Yeah, all music and uh, under Dr. Larson's permission, I just shared your music. Okay, the score. And hopefully you can just click on it and open it and look at the music with. Okay, that's a fantastic. And then we can more focus on a singer and Dr. Larson. That's a fantastic suggestion. Thank you, Dr. Kim again. Okay, I learned it. <laughs> Let's start. Uh, Gloria, are you ready? Hi, Dr. Park. Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay. Let us see you. Oh, oh there you go. Super. Okay, so let me introduce myself. As you know, my name is Gloria Devereaux, and today I will be performing Anne Boleyn uh, from Dr. Larson's Try Me Good King. Good king, let me have a lawful trial, and let not my enemy sit as my accusers and judges. Strike me, good king, let me receive a lawful trial, for my trust has been no
Yeah, Glo. Gloria, thank you, Dr. Gonson. Yeah, the piano, thank you so much. Yes. yes, we try, we try to all mute while we uh, let uh, Dr. Larson work with a singer, okay? Because otherwise we have uh, some uh, noise background. All right. Okay. Good. Well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, to, to the both of you. It's a, it's a, a really beautiful collaboration uh, and, and um, the environment that you're setting um, together is, is pretty stunning. <laughs> it's, it's really, really lovely. Yay. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, this is a technical thing. Um, did anybody else besides me have a great deal of static during the last part of the piece or was that just me? Lots of static, right? So, um, so we um, we we missed your brilliant interpretation of, of the last page of the music. <laughs> you were wiped out and head off with her head gone. Uh, but um, so um, we'll work on that a little bit la later um, to see if we can we can you know just create a pristine silence so that we can hear uh, what the two of you are doing with the gallo speech. But okay, but um, so some things. Um, uh, I took notes. Yay, notes. Uh, uh, 
the first, uh, your tempo is great. Love the tempo. Um, the, um, and I love the way you're applying a kind of a lyric, uh, you know, a, a, a more legato quality to the first section of the song. Okay. Uh, um, um, the, um, all the way up until the first time you say her name. You know, um, uh, when, you know, then you have had in Anne Boleyn um, and Anne Boleyn. That's the first time we hear her name. And, and her name, of course, is going to be very important in the very next section of the song. So I was wondering um, how you would feel about um, releasing a little bit of the legato and being a little more just say the name, just, you know, uh, 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 sort of more parlando. Um, uh, Yes, as if you, as if, I mean, in, uh, of course, in this um, scenario, Henry was not in the room. She was just, she was trying to get him mm -hmm. to listen to her, of course. Uh, and, and she was using, you know, every wit that she had. She had a lot of wit, you know, but to strategize how to get his attention. So um, I love the fact that you, you, you open with a, a kind of a legato. And if you can think of yourself as, you know, is, is in that way. But then when you, the first time you, you say your name as if you sort of take him by the arm, look him in the eyes and say, Anne Boleyn, it's me. <laughs> you know, uh, it, um, could, could we try that just to see? Um, oh, so from the beginning up until the Anne Boleyn? Yep, beginning up Anne Boleyn. permission to disregard <laughs> the rhythms that I gave to the name Anne Boleyn. Okay. You have my permission. <laughs> so, um, so, um, um, so just say how you would say Anne Boleyn. Then you have found in? Anne Boleyn. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So you have my permission to do that with the rhythm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So you, why don't we just try it from then you have found in and then just let's hear what that sounds like. Then you have found in Boleyn. Oh yeah. I like that. Okay. Now okay. we've got our attention. Now we're all going like, oh, you're Anne Boleyn. <laughs> you are Anne Boleyn. That's Bravo, brava, brava. So now let's take the same principle and let's apply it to da, 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 da. you have chosen me from low estate to be your wife and companion. Yeah, I know you want to do more. Yeah, I, I know you want to change the inflection on that. And I know you want to get our attention with that. So, uh, so permission to do that. Go ahead. So, and then that will set you up for the lute song, which can be very sweet and very tender. But if this, this um, you, you buddy, you chose me, you know, right. and then from low estate, you know, low estate, man, that's a problem. Same problem we're having these days with Harry and Megan, actually, right. you know, to be your wife and companion. So, you know, um, yeah. So let's, let's do that. You have chosen me from low estate to be your wife and companion. But tell it to us, you know, like grab us by the wrist and tell us about, make us understand it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Great. 
I like it. Now, now do you not remember the words you wrote your head? Put a little bit of uh, an accelerando on that. As if you're like, don't you remember? Don't, I'm going to bring you back into this memory. So do an accelerando on do you not remember? Yeah, let's do you have chosen me and all the way through own true hands. Okay. That's really nice. Now you, 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 you really set us up to listen to this little play within the play of this. There's two plays within the play in this song. And this first one is you and Henry back in the days when you were courting and he was writing terrible lute songs and singing them to you, you know? And, <laughs> you know, and now you'll sing that terrible lute song as if it was the most precious gem you could have. You know? <laughs> and, and you do, it's beautiful. Then when you go back to, um, let's see, uh, right after the lute song, back into the um, try me good king, you know, the, um, if you could have a little bit more of that grab the wrist and look them in the eye quality to the way you deliver the, you know, do you not remember the words of your own true hand, try me good king, right after the lute song. Okay. While you're cranking up for the, for your high note. Okay. <laughs> Don't think about that. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Don't think about it. It's great. You know, all you have to do is get us there. So um, now, <laughs> um, I want to go, because we don't have much more time, I, I'd like to go to the gallows speech, uh, the, the last page. Um, and um, if you don't mind, um, I, I, if we, can we just work through this? Yes. Uh, okay. So um, I, I will let you two, you know, uh, get into it, and then I'll probably stop you from time to time, just so we can just do a little bit of spit and polish on it. Okay. So let's go on it. We have around four minutes on it. Okay. We can do this. We can do it. beautiful um i, I want to check an interval the okay. first interval on to die what is the interval there i come hither to it's a trifle yep you're singing a perfect fourth okay and and you know bad composer terrible composer <laughs> no there's a lot of significance in that tritone okay. you, you know it, it um, um and at least from my point of view you know, the significance is, is that you don't want to die. You know, it's, it's, it, it may be final, but you don't want to. So if you can just work on making sure that tritone really is a tritone, okay, then you might color it also, uh, you, you know, as uh, almost as if the blood is draining out of the color of your voice on the tritone. Okay. Because I'm, I'm not quite sure how, how, how you feel about, uh, about getting your head chopped off. You know, thirty <laughs> seconds. You know, you know, like, are you angry? You know, are you afraid? Are you defiant? You know, um, uh, I'm not. Do you have a point of view about what you are at that moment as the Queen of of England? I'm sorry. Oh, do you have a point of view about um, uh, what attitude you want to deliver to the people who are who are gathered there? Are you defiant? Are you angry? Are you really scared you know 
uh, at this point, I'm not scared. I've come to accept it. Like I've, you know, this is just what it is. You know, I've, I've pleaded, I've asked for a fair trial and you're not giving that to me. So yep. here it is. I'm going to die. You know, the execution is good and my neck is little. I love that. Okay. So it just, we, we just need a little bit more of that. Okay. Uh, okay. So good question. People that come hither to that. Yeah. Let's, let's start again and I'll stop you at a later part here. Okay. Okay. Christian people, I've come hither to die, and by the law I am judged to die. That's that's wonderful, wonderful. Um, uh, 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 here's a couple thoughts. Um, one is, um, uh, 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 let's see. Oh, sorry, and my neck is so little. Um, I have the pedal, I think, marked to go all the way through there. It, it, it's I think it's ambiguous as to when when you let the pedal up. But if you would like to let the pedal up so that the air is completely dry before she says, and my neck is so little. I like that. Um, uh, that that uh, I have found is pretty effective, can be very effective. Just leave her dangling out there. Uh, and then, um, the other is, I pray God sa save the king, pray God save the king. There's an opportunity for you to in interject your own, and uh, 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 yeah, some, some bitterness, some sarcasm, some irony, you know, God save the king. There's an opportunity. I'm just offering it to you that if you wanted to let, you know, a part of part of Anne's, the whole reason she's in this mess because she's, you know, an, an amazingly strategic, you know, and successful at it until she gets her head chopped off, you know, politician. You know, um, at that in that one little fragment, I pray God save the king you know, is really, um, can be for you an admission that you just can't, you know, you, you, you can't beat the king, no matter what you do, you know, it, um, so that, that's just a thought for you to add. We could do this for hours. It's really terrific. And I'm just so thrilled and honored to hear the two of you perform this song. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Larson. Yes, ma'am. I'd just like to add um, that I appreciate you composing uh, this song set because this is the most challenging um, song that I've ever had to learn. Um, so thank you for this. This has truly challenged me with, with rhythm, with, with pitch, and pitch is usually never an issue for me. Whoa. But this, you have, <laughs> look, thank you. So oh, thank you. Th thank, thank you, that, that it's very, very kind of you and also very brave. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you're doing a beautiful job with it. I hope you keep it in your repertoire. I yeah. will. I, I plan to learn all of it. All of Try Me Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm available anytime you want to, you know, get a hold of me to uh, email or, or now we can Zoom. So good. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, you, thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, Juan, are you ready? Um, Juan, there he is. I see him. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, let's start with your song. Thank All you. right. Thank you. All <laughs> right, let's go. All right. Hello, my name is Juan Garcia, and I will be singing "I Love You Through the Daytimes." Um, 
あのうつぶれちゃいました。<笑>
Um, but this felt, this felt fine. I, yeah. It can be, maybe it can be a little slower to really feel the heaviness. Yeah. But yes. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Cause um, yeah, several things are going through my mind. Um, one is, uh, one is um, that in a large hall, it, you know, this temple feels of course very different than it does here, you know, and, um, and this, the, the emotion of this piece is, is it, what was on my mind was, you know, a very large, empty marble hallways, it, um, uh, you know, cold, nothing warm about them. Uh, um, and in that, which is why I marked this, the temple that, that I marked. Um, but um, it's almost impossible to find the right tempo unless you find it in the way that you have. And, and I'm really glad to hear you say maybe even lower. Because most people want to push it faster. You know, but this is the tempo. Um, it's a hard tempo to find because it's the tempo of insomnia. You know? Right. <laughs> and, um, uh, and I don't know how many of you have had insomnia. I have had insomnia. You know, but if, if, if even one night of insomnia, you, um, th there's just nothing about the day that, 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 that move. It moves at its own tempo and each second is an infinity and, uh, you know, so, um, so I, I really love the tempo that you've got and I can hear it um, I, uh, uh, in, in, in a large hall. No, if we were recording, well, no, we'd have to put a large hall on you, you know, in a recording studio. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd, yeah. So I, so thank you for that. Um, uh, I couldn't, sorry, I couldn't hear the piano well enough to, to hear the groove of the ding dong, 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 ding. But I think you've got it. <laughs> and, and that's what I'm looking for is, 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 is that groove. You know, not a, not a, not a hot groove, just that the groove of, of patience and waiting and insomnia. And you've got right. it. Yeah. Does that make sense to both of you? Oh, it makes complete sense. Yes. Yeah. So you just kind of ride the groove, you know, right. with all the lines that, that both singing and in the right hand. So uh, the, the, the long lines that come up from the bass in left hand into the right hand. Just rides that group. Um, now, um, uh, a few little little things, and, and please forgive me. I, you know, this situation it, it's very hard to be refined, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we're working on Zoom. But um, so, um, when you say sing, um, um, uh, I love you through the daytimes, um, in the dark. Um, I circled that. And I'm trying to think, why did I circle that? Because, because it's unexpected. It, it's an unexpected text. Um, uh, 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 and so I was wondering if there might be a, just, just a little hint of a little different color you could give that. Does anything come to mind for you? Um, well, I, what I, bringing it up, yes. Um, like on, what you have written like on your website you have light and darkness written for this piece and so the opening it's going up i love you through the daytime and then it starts going down it uh in the darkness or in the dark yeah. and so i mean yes there is a change um i guess the color i'm not too sure on the color but it, there is a switch is there a psychological switch for you there i think that, I mean, starting in the daytimes and then in the dark, it starts going into a darker place going from here, moving forward. So I guess that's, there should be a switch in there. Um, it's, it's just something to think about. You know, because right. in our culture, you know, um, loving you in the dark, you know, uh, you know, yeah, in any culture, you know, it just has other implications than seeing in the daylight. So if there's just, just, Give that a little more attention, maybe, okay. um, and and see what see, just play around with it and see if anything works. And if it doesn't, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, spend trip, those hours spent.
spend the thrift. Somehow, yeah, you did it. We need a little more quotations around spend thrift. What, what is that to you? Um, well, it says um, those hours, spend thrift, spend thrift is like just using like time that went by, maybe wasted, but not really wasted. It was just used up. Um, and here it's in the context, I guess, of the person that this person is just thinking of constantly, the person this person loves. Um, so it's thinking like, again, just like despair and like loss, but it's still loving and passionate. Um, yep. So just thinking of those hours, that time. So um, yes, I, I love everything you're saying. Let me ask you a question. Is this a consummated relationship? Are you frozen? No, I'm not thinking. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about a consummated relationship when I was going through this. <laughs> um, it, um, it, it could be that it's not. You know, it could be that this guy's a stalker. Just, I'm not saying it is, but um, I know that in my own re own um, thinking about you know these this text is hieroglyphics, mm -hmm. uh, but in my in my own thinking about it, somehow I got a sense from the text that it that 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 the desire that desire you know uh, uh, is is so present you know that I don't know why it's probably my own you know perverted mind but I I. I, I went to, I went to no nope, you know that it, it, it hasn't been consummated so the body is just aching and aching and aching uh, uh, and I but I'm not saying that's what you have to do I'm just offering that to you, you, mm -hmm. you know, as a um, as something that, that gives us a whole different a, a very different feel for this piece if that's the direction yes does it I do like that I do like that idea um it it does give something yes it does so for instance the um let's you know spend thrift um it changes the the next words i waste away alone you know that i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting and i'm you know i'm all of this wasting away alone it changes that um uh and with the shape of you and with the shape of you you know where we be, we begin to move it ahead a little bit. Um, uh, no matter what relationship you have, to, you know, it, for, for your own interpretation, I think we need to um, we need to um, hear you envisioning in your voice a little more the word shape, the shape of you, because it's in the dark, so we're not seeing her or him or whoever it is. Well, I don't know if this is. I, I have no gender assigned to this, but you know, with the shape of you, I people night. So um, just a little something, give me a little something more on the word shape. Can I ask you a question on that? Please. Now that you brought it up, actually, yeah. People night. Yeah. What, what do we mean by people night? Good question. What I used as an image was that there is no one in this space, just the lover, the, the spendthrift love, the lover. And that he, he, she, whoever it is, you know, that the shape that, that, that the, the lover is contemplating, um, it, the imagination then takes over and you see that shape in, in, in you just see that shape. I, I, I was drawing on some of my own crushes and, you know, really infatuating experiences, those things. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and um, recall that, you know, um, uh, in, in one instance, I probably was 12, or, but anyway, you know, I, I was like in love. And, you know, <laughs> and every sprinkler, sprinkler, lot sprinkler, you know, that, that I saw, to me, seemed like a shower of diamonds, <laughs> just so so heightened and so exaggerated, and so so this and with the shape of you, you know, and if if we can if we can get get the idea that there is 
an, uh, you know, an imagined shape, and then the shape is everywhere because there's no one there. Sorry, two minutes. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, does that make sense? Oh, it does. It does. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, good, 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 good. Singing to my flesh. I love what you're doing with that. To bring it, that, you know, that you're that you you're cutting loose and you know using that melisma to produce uh, and coloring it. Uh, and and I you can as much as you want to do with that. I just think is a fabulous idea. Uh, and um, we're gonna oh. The one shape that I wondered, uh, yes, if, if we could work on or, or at least take into consideration, um, let's see, uh, from, um, from what magic is in your eyes, um, all the way to, to your, your, your anguished cry, you know, where gone, oh love, you know, that could be one in intense intensity build uh, um, more than it is now and it is it's beautiful now but I, I always like to heighten intensity if I can you, you know and um, if you could think of that that whole that that suddenly your mind went to ah what music was in your voice to bring such singing you know to, um, to my flesh to the limbs that are listless without you you know um, uh, uh, there's a crescendo in the you into thus. So that means to carry that intensity even more and don't treat thus as the beginning of a thought. Think of it as a continuation of the thought. You know, what singing was it? And, ah, where are you? So that whole big section. Uh, if you could give, if you could, you know, do whatever the two of you can do to bring intensity, not dynamic, but emotional intensity to it, except for the one crescendo. Uh, okay, is that good? That's great. These are all jewels. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you are welcome. And thank you for your breath control. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you, know, you started, you know, why gone from me? That whole line, I just thought, uh oh, you know, and it was just, it was, <laughs> it was really, it's really great. Um, you really, done some fine work, you know, in, in, uh, in bringing the poetry and the technique of what, what the two of you have together. It's really wonderful. I'd love to hear you sing it again, uh, but we don't have time. So maybe I can hear it online someday or something, but it's really, I'm so glad you've taken on the song. It's, it's, it's your voice really well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Larson. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful one. Okay, Lisa, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. I'm gonna step back here, see if we're in picture here. What are we doing? Are we doing the empty song? Yes. Yes, I am doing, Dr. Larson. Yes, my name is Lisa Kalzak and I'm doing the empty song and Mikel Gordon is my accompanist back here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.
could see you far enough. Beyond me, I will get back together. Campsites in Spain. Moonlight, heavy weather. To this or the end of my Spanish shampoo. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> nice, really nicely put together. Really lovely. Um, uh, the tempo is pretty, is good. It could be a little slower. Okay. A little more sultry. Okay. Just a little bit. In fact, let, let's try it and, um, and, and agree on a tempo that, yeah, it just needs it needs not to go forward. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it needs to be in a pool of moonlight. Okay. That makes sense. So let, let's, let's, yeah. You guys can talk it over and, and find a tempo that's a little more sultry, a little more not going anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Spanish shampoo. How does that feel? It feels better. And I feel like I want to take a little bit of time on the two of today. I think you do. Set that. Yeah, I think you do. And I think you there you go. Like yeah. And, and, and I also have an idea too at this new tempo. That's okay. That, that the introduction that in, in, the, in the piano could be lighter, could be more as if it were in the past. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Um, until you get to la da 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 da, you know, where, where it becomes really rich. But I think ethereal and lighter and at this tempo, and then try today the way you want to sing it. And let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Great. How does that feel? Feels great. Yeah, it, it feels like the two of you are more inside of the image. Yeah, yeah. And, and and the more you can live in the imagery, you don't have to present it out to us. Just live in it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, um, uh, it, that's really nice. That's really nice. Now, um, I love the way that I'm picking away on on the on the entrance because it just sets everything up. But um, I like your idea about today, about lingering on today. Okay. And, but uh, and be very careful that you say the whole word today. Today, today. Yeah, because um, what's happening is we're getting today. You know, it's today, today. You know, we we need today. Today saw the last. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. That's overdoing it, but that is right. yeah, that kind of inflection. Okay. 
Um, less than giant size. Oh, now, now this what make um, listening to your uh, beautiful work on this made me want to ask you a question about your interpretation of who you are in the song. And um, and let me put it this way: um, Are you? Um, uh, did he break up with you, or? or I'm sorry to use. I know gender sensitive. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Did um, who broke up with who? You know, here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the one that got left. <laughs> okay, you got left. Okay, good. So, um, uh, and are you? And what is your state of mind about be, about this? Well, I think that I mean I envisioned this song happening after a night of insomnia and after my morning shower and I'm ruminating on the fact that, wow, I'm marking um, the time since this relationship is ended by the level in the shampoo bottle <laughs> and it's gone. So I think, you know, there's enough time that's passed that I'm not like terribly, horribly upset. I mean, I'm not like ready to break down and cry, you know, but, but I'm, I'm mindful of the fact that that I still um, maybe miss that relationship, or or at least I'm ambivalent about where I am past that the end of that relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's terrific. I, I hear that in in the way you're singing the song. I was searching around to find out if you were depressed. I mean, not you, but you know, like if, right. if the yeah I, I think it's maybe past depression yeah uh, for me, for me yeah. the interpretation of this is it's past depression yeah. um, you know i might be later on in the text um i have to confess there's one line in this text that i don't i can't i can't make sense of what it means <laughs> Work on it. i, I it, bet i know what it is but go ahead <laughs> it's like i could see you far enough yes. <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> i mean well um, and I just wanted you to know that you are in good company. <laughs> uh, that um, that uh, I wrote these songs for a mezzo soprano by the name of Suzanne Menser, uh, and who um, uh, and and that's the line she stumbles on too. In, you know, oh, well, it's good to know. Yeah, it's good to know. It's not just me. <laughs> what does this mean? You know exactly, exactly. And so I um, I have thoughts on it. Okay, what Suzanne said is, uh, says is, um, I could, let's see, I could see you far enough beyond me, or I could see you far enough beyond me how we'll get back together, you know. Well, so, and, you know, I really thought the first when I start, first started singing this, but when I actually stopped and looked at the looked at the poem, I mean, it really, you know, it's, to me, it looks clear that it's beyond me how we'll get back together is the one is that thought, but but then what do you do with the, I could see you far enough part? <laughs> well, I, um, I'll tell you, um, I, I turned to E.E. E. Cummings, <laughs> you know, uh, whose who's mastery of the, you know, the placement of a certain word, you know, belongs with what's before it or what's after it. Right, exactly, exactly. I know what you mean there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, um, I think, uh, uh, I said it ambivalently, uh, um, uh, but not really. So, so uh, I try to put myself in the in the relationship that, that of you, you know, you, you're the one who's been left, okay? mm -hmm. and and thinking, you know, what could what more could I have done, you, you know, you know, I I could see you far enough beyond me. I could see I can see your future, you know. I could, you know, uh, uh, and uh, uh, but I couldn't do anything about it and you left me you know like i i couldn't project myself there or you wouldn't take me there or you you know how it, how it is in relationships yeah mm -hmm. uh, or it can be yes. so so i go with i could see you far enough beyond me um and then because she's a complex human being you know beyond me how we'll get back together because you know because which which then brings up the question is do you want to get back together Right, sir. Surely, there's that question. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but yeah. So that particular line, I could see you far enough. Yep, I um, I believe 
and, and I might be just blowing hot air here, but um, when I was working on the piece, I thought if I start that line as if it was the beginning of a new section in the music, mm -hmm. a new phrase, um, that, um, that, that it might cause ambivalence in the listener too. <laughs> you know, because you want it to go somewhere and it doesn't go there. You kind of set up the expectation. Right, right, right. Musically, and then it doesn't go there. Should we sing it and just see what we think? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Where do you want to take it from? Um, maybe we can do the maybe do the section right before the but oh oh to get into it and oh, then set nice. that up. And again, we've moved into insomniac time. Yes, for sure. So on the bottom of twenty four. Okay. But oh, oh, in some moonlight, how unhoneyed is my middle of the night? I could see. Time do we have left? Just a couple minutes. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's work a little bit on O O Insomniac Moonlight. Okay. Oh, and let's um let's see about O O Insomniac. Let's just loosen up all kinds of forward motion. Just like get rid of forward motion. Okay. You know? And how unhoneyed is the middle of the night? Close off the T. Okay. No, um, and leave a little silence before the piano comes in and see if we can create that pool of non-timelessness that then kicks off the pool of time time again. Okay. But, yeah. oh. Right direction. Okay. I, I think now um, in the in, insomniac moonlight, um, if you could uh, right now you're singing the rhythm. Okay. Uh, uh, the, uh, um, and thank you for singing the rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, now if you could loosen them up and, and and inflect them more as if you were saying them. Okay. And, okay. And so on. You know how on honeyed. You know, it, you, you know, you don't say un, I, I, I'm unhoneyed. <laughs> it's just inflect them as if you were, as if you were saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, and we can work on that. The other thing I wanted to work on is the word end. E N D. End. 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 Yep. Um, because that is the point of the piece. The end. Yes. Not in a shampoo. Right. No, it's the end. The end of my third month, the end of my Spanish shampoo. Mm -hmm. and so um, uh, let's 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 just take the last today saw the end all okay. the way to the end of the piece. Okay. Of the piece. Yes. Okay. 
That's nice. That's that's really nice. You could take some time between the end of my third month and then take a little time before you say without you. Okay. Yeah, try that. Okay. Too late. Oh no. Too late. Yep. Too late. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Today, sorry. Yeah. Oh, today. Yep, sorry. sorry. <laughs> permission to just take a little time here, a little time there, a little time, you know, to, to deliver the, uh, you, you know, to deliver the emotion. Great. Like, I, yeah, and I can certainly see in the um, insomniac moonlight part, and then the how unhoneyed is my middle of the night. Yeah. So just yeah. play with it. Yeah, just play with it. Just, yeah, Great. just take time and play with it. It's very beautiful. It's really, it's, it, you guys, it fits your, your voice really well. It's really nice. And I love your interpretation of, yep, it's over, it's done, rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last singer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Larson. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Okay. Here no. is Denise Atkins. Denise, you need to, yeah. Hello, everyone. And hello, Dr. Larson. It is nice to meet you. One moment. So I do apologize. I will be using a recorded accompaniment. Uh, and you might notice that there's a beat missing somewhere. Uh, but hopefully we'll get through it. Uh, can you hear me clearly? I can. Thank okay. Uh, uh, yes, and I'll be singing uh, Bucking Bronco, the first song uh, in the Cowboy Songs collection, uh, poetry by Bell Star. <laughs> okay. My love is a rider. My love is a rider, my true love is a rider, wild propose he breaks, though he promised to quit for my sake, it's one foot in the stirrup, and the saddle put on, with a swing and a jump, he is mounted and gone. The first time I met him, it was early one spring, riding a bronco, I had a thing. The next time I saw him, twas late in the fall, a 
that he won it by riding his barking bronco. Wow. <laughs> How is it to work with a digital uh, uh, collaborative pianist? So uh, this is a pianist that I actually work with pretty regularly. Um, so we, we talk about the piece uh, quite a lot before making the recording. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the tempo is pretty much where I really like to perform the piece. Okay. Uh, there are a couple of, you know, fermata moments that you just kind of have to practice when working with recordings yeah. so you worked out the 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 shape of the piece and together yes, so yes. it was already rehearsed when you re, when you recorded it yes when now i i was not present or, or giving any gestures during the actual recording of the accompaniment but i feel like i feel like it's really close to to what she and i do together in person yeah 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 it it it, it felt that way and I was wondering if you had a program, uh, you know, uh, uh, which you didn't, but uh, you, know, you know, a program where you can lead the uh, cello rondos and the retards. In, <laughs> there are programs available like that, but um, nice job, nice job, very nice job. Great diction. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me switch my audio for a moment. I'm having some issues. I do apologize. There it is. Is this better? Can you hear me clearly? I can. Can you hear me clearly? Loud and clear. Thank you. Good. good. Um, I was uh, complimenting you on your diction. Um, um, many of the songs that I write, I, uh, uh, well, um, in all of them, I, I charge myself uh, with the task of writing the, the music in such a way that it gives the singer a chance to pronounce the words, you know, and as clearly as you would, as, as you do in Broadway singing. Um, I, my, my, my goal is, is to set American English uh, uh, to be sung by American trained voices. You know, I, I don't mean that, what I mean is to not go canto. You know. Right. Um, uh, and and it's a challenge. It's been a challenge um, for years and years and years to put American English on a voice that's been trained to sing Italian and German and French. You know, before American English, since the vocal production techniques are are different. Um, and so, thank you for you know for for your diction, um, especially for my love is a rider, R I D E R. You know. Oh, I feel like rolling that R would have been a sin, an absolute sin. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> would have been, <laughs> and and also you gave me a nice D for writer. You, you know, um, um, uh, oftentimes it sounds like writer, a, a writer of words. You, you know, just by not emphasizing the the D. So thank you for that. Um, I want to ask you. I think I know what your interpretation is uh, of of uh, your point of view uh, okay. as of this song, um, uh, uh, but. Uh, 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 just for fun, let me ask a couple of questions. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, who approached who in this relationship? I definitely feel so. I think perhaps I have consumed way too much like historic romance in my life, but it definitely feels like this is a woman of like so somewhere higher up on the social ladder. Uh, in this like American Victorian era where she's, uh, this song definitely feels like she's bragging about this 
um, this this cowboy who uh, and like the bucking bronco itself feels like a metaphor for the type of personality the cowboy is. Mm -hmm. So she's she's bragging about this fine young man that she has caught herself. So I definitely feel like if she wasn't the first to uh, to initiate the conversation, she made herself quite available. I love that. <laughs> And I, and I hear it in your performance. There's a kind of confidence uh, uh, in, in the performance that really parallels exactly what you've been talking about. Um, it's, um, often I hear this song sung from the point of view of a completely doe-eyed, innocent, you know, spring flower who was plucked, you know, <laughs> well, um, which is fine. That's fine too. But I, the, 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 the strength that I hear um, is, is really nice. Um, when you... Um, begin to tell the story of the first time I saw him, you know, and the first time I saw him, um, I feel like you want to tell more of the story with your voice. Yes, definitely. I, I, that is a moment where I really felt beholden to the, the recording of my accompaniment and I really didn't have the, the room to play as much as I normally would. Yep, 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 great. Play away when you know when you go in person together. Just you know, play away because I I felt the storytelling in you, and mm -hmm. I just thought, go, go, go. <laughs> um, uh, let let me ask you about um, the exchange of the ring and the far better thing. Mm. Um, uh, uh, so, um, it, um, I think what I want to ask is, uh, is did you know? In, in, the, in your perspective in the song, did you know what, what the bargain was? was? Um, so the far better thing uh, is, I, I feel like that's kind of what uh, was the deciding factor on how to sort of portray the personality of the singer. Yes. Um, she, she feels quite confident that she is uh, uh, at the very least worthy of this man's attention. Um, a young maiden's heart, I don't, I'd like, I, I feel like that's a little, like the, the cleanest way to say what she exchanged for that ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of how I interpreted that. Uh, yeah, me too, actually. Okay. Yeah, right, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a euphemism for, you know, for whatever the far better thing. Yeah. Is. <laughs> You know he was going to leave her you know at the beginning the mm -hmm. you know the whole setting up of this meeting did, did she know he was going to leave her was that a surprise when he left so i think that she had the her, her confidence kind of slipped a little into arrogance i think she knew exactly the type of person she was trying to catch but she was quite sure she could catch him <laughs> And and like the the final stanza of this feels sort of like a flash forward, uh, to where she you know as if as if she's telling this story as a cautionary tale to like her grandchildren or somebody. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, I love that. I love it. You you, you really have her, uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well in half. Right right. And it is such a tale. I mean it, it's a universal tale. Uh, oh yeah. It's yeah. very relatable. <laughs> Very, very relatable. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you're going to change the person, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's great. Be aware of uh, when you sing. I've only heard you sing this once, but you know where you reside. When you sing, beware of the cowboy. Um, uh, uh, so um, you tell me because you've got her so well in hand. When you sing beware, is it like beware or is it like, ah, uh, you know, beware or wh what is, what is the beware about? So I guess, I guess in kind of interpreting that last stanza as, as like talking to somebody who she's trying to teach to learn from her mistakes, I, I kind of like to ham that moment up. I like a really nice really hard change from where you reside and then scare them beware of the cowboy like this is important you got you got to hear this yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i like that um 
and and and, I, and I'd like to hear that. You know, I I, okay. I it a little bit. You know, it, it's a funny situation here. Yeah, that's um that that really works for me, and it makes me think that uh, how universal this is. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, and there's my twelve year old daughter, and I'm telling her, <laughs> you know, and I know darn well she's not listening. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah that that's that's fabulous in different size halls mm -hmm. or situations how will you handle tempo i i really don't think i'll i'll move too far away from this tempo i know it's a little on the fast side uh but i also like to milk those those freer sections for really all they're worth okay <laughs> that answers yeah, that answers it. Because the tempo, it, it's a little on the fast side. It's a little not gallop, um, you, you know. It, it, um, but and in a larger hall, it's just di the diction that I'm worried about. Mm. You know, okay, the diction's very good. So you know, is to just keep in mind that if you, in an intimate situation like this, you, we can hear all the T's and the D's and that you know. But then in a larger hall, because this is such a storytelling song. You might need to adjust the tempo slower than you feel comfortable with at the moment, just to, okay. get, you know, to get the whole breadth of giving yourself yeah. room on the free sections and then rhythm on the rhythmic sections. It, uh, yeah, it's great. You think you'll do the whole set sometime? I have. Uh, I did it for my first recital at the University of Arkansas. My, my first master's recital and I, gosh, I loved it so much. It was really, really hard choosing between that and Billy the Kid today. <laughs> uh, that would be fun to work on together too. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm glad you chose this and I, I, I'm just delighted. Really, really, boy, you guys, all of you, you're fantastic. And it's just such a pleasure to spend time with all of you. It's just, making my soul sing and thank you for that really thank you that. thank you for your beautiful music every time i get to sing this collection it feels like i'm indulging in something i really enjoy <laughs> very kind very kind Yay. because of time if you don't mind we will take only one question because she need a little break we will have dr larson again at seven o'clock in a about right about uh Okay. Uh, her life as a composer okay so the title my life as composer is coming up and then that's why let's do just one question or uh, dr larson you will give us give us some some time to make some questions right on your talk yes yes because i didn't leave time now and i apologize for that but it we just got into a lot of good stuff. So yes. um, I, my talk is in 20 minutes uh, at, back on Zoom. Uh, and I will plan, to, um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my watch near me and, and I'll try to be very careful about planning maybe 15 minutes. So talk for maybe 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, uh, questions for about 15. But if you feel like you want to butt in with a question <laughs> during the talk, that um, that's fine too, because you know, yeah, the one thing we don't have time for or the in, in a festival like this is we don't see each other in the hallways, you know, where where so many wonderful things happen, you know, in, uh, in these kinds of festival get together. So let's treat the um, next uh, uh, kind or next talk a, um, as a hallway <laughs> as much as it is a, a you know, a, a, lec a concert hall that Thank makes sense. Yes, I appreciate so much and uh, all singers, congratulations and it was fantastic, really meaningful time with Dr. Larson again. Big, big, big applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, we, we will get back at seven o'clock. All right. So, so from now on, ciao everyone. And then we will see you back in the next 20 minutes. All right. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye. Great job, Dennis. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Park. And thanks for inviting me. I, I, my pleasure. I, I was a little kind of, okay, how is she? How is she? Beautiful job.
Okay, take some rest and come back. Lisa, thank you. Great job. Mm-hmm. So, okay, bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Please come back and with uh, Debbie together. Okay. For sure. <laughs> All right. See you then. Bye. Great job. Real great job. Appreciate that.